All right, it's time for a spice camera. Now, this one is wireless, 1080, night vision, supports up to 64 gigabytes of micro SD card, real small, and you can place this anywhere. I'm going to show you how to config and how the whole thing works right now. How are we doing, everyone? My name is Dario. And today in this video, I'm going to show you how to configure this great camera. This is a tiny, tiny small camera. You can place it anywhere. Battery wise, it will last up to two hours. But if you need continue manual like a, a 24 seven, then you just plug it in the USB five volts. And then now you have a nice arriving camera, spy camera. It will run 24 seven. I'll show you how to do all those things right now. All right, so the mini cam, Wi-Fi, motion detector, loop recording, and night vision, right? It's a mini hand camera. You can control it with your phone, audio recording, and can be charged. That's honey. Here's the manual. I show you guys how to do this. First thing you need to do is download the application right over here. I use devices, Android, scan it, and download the app. All right, I'll show you how to config. Now, this is the camera. Super small. Micro SD card. Reset the camera. It's right over here. Now, memory-wise, you can put up to 64 gigabytes of memory. Done. We have the memory and power. On, off, into scan, but we have a different way to do that setup because it's much easier. And then here, what we get now usb tap a to macro usb and the magnetic device okay you can end the reset switch even for cleanup and put this you can put these stickers anywhere it's a magnetic piece okay you stick the camera you can stick this anywhere or you can just use that stick it somewhere in the wall just come here and uh, and paste it that's it so look at this still running now, it's already charged, but to charge here, you put it right over here, and then a red LED light will indicate it requires more charging. It's right there, and we should have a, a, a red light right in the tap. Can we see that right there? That red LED light indicates then it's charging. Now, as it starts flicking, it means it's time to pair the camera. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to reset the camera. Make sure the sound by pressing here takes a few seconds and then i'm going to go with this now kind of tap the switch okay so you you're going to feel the switch do not push it all the way in so should be somewhere you need to okay i found it there you're going to hear like a click so we're going to hold it all right i'm going to hold it for that's it stop blinking i'll let it go all right now takes time to reset the camera is resetting right now it's blinking every few seconds and then we need to start blinking fast okay at this point the camera is reset as you see there it's blinking real fast i have to make sure i'm connected to 2.4 network all right so that's my 2.4 network if you are a 5 hertz make sure you're on 2.4 okay i do a bend it should detect automatically i'm going to stop the application i'm going to hit camera let's just scan the camera from the back let's clean here and let's go here and we got a camera scan and we see the the camera we see your number by the way the password is one two three okay two three click there save it but what i'm going to do now go there and connect to the actual camera okay so now i, I did a local connection to the camera let's go back because it needs to know my my password it doesn't know my network pass so Go back and now they say i'm online see camera's working but only a co local connection so what i'm going to do now i'm going to go there in the wheel i'm going to go to wi-fi setting all right so let's go into retrieve my uh network manage network and it showed me all my networks all right so we need to connect to 2.4 2.4 all right enter the password all right oh, put me the box in t that's my password so what's going to happen now it's going to send the information to 
the camera is reset and as you see here and the camera is going to only connect to the 2.4 network no longer needs the phone to be connected so the camera we have to wait it takes about a minute so the camera is resetting here's the device is connected so please wait so we have to wait until this actually will start and blinking every that's it you see it takes almost like a minute they stop blinking now it blinks every three seconds about see on and off perfect and it load up you see here now as you see with the camera the power is if you look in the power switch that would be the way you're going to view the camera 150 degrees night vision i can go and take a picture and save it right in the camera and can just go and record right on my uh, cell phone right or i can listen to by pressing here and i should be able to listen see let me turn this off all right so the camera is sending the audio no microphone the camera has no speaker right so microphone means you're talking to the camera so there's not that we can go we can go full motion right here gonna load up in a second and we have full motion real nice screen we can switch it to hd if you want hd is standard smooth that depends on the speed of the connection and let's go back to the normal screen i'm going to overview all the things now how do you activate night vision if you want to activate night vision here that's a little looks like an alarm right there but that's night vision i put it there you will see my screen put from black and white so that's the night vision mode all right and you can press this by you can rotate the camera rotate see, left right to config the camera just hit the wheel on the top all right you can change your password later on wi-fi setting is done we don't need to do that anymore all right set the alarm so you're gonna click here if you want the phone to send your notification ring vibrate mode maximum low so you have to see that the way you want it we got that in all the settings okay security code i guess you want to replace the password so it will be one two three and then your new password time zone set your time zone or synchronize it right with your phone so you want to set the time zone right now it's in uh, in uh, asia so you change it to whatever part you are and then you synchronize the time recording there are a few ways to record so we have a full-time recorder so it will record all the time or we'll save with the alarm i said the best way is save with the alarm so it records a little bit then it stops records a little bit and that's what they call it loop format you don't need to record or you can record all the time right so here if it's something in the car we click ok and it format complete the car right so now now every time the camera sends information it will automatically record into the tiny camera pretty simple to set up right it's a tiny camera now follow my steps the way to configure the camera and it works perfect make sure you have a, you have a 2.4 network if you're dual dual band that's fine automatically should detect that it's a 2.4 one is said you can turn the data back in your phone and you can set your phone as you were the way you use it now the camera every time it sends a signal right it is somebody passed by it, it will start recording if you do like a uh, loop format and alarm and i think that's the best way to record about a minute stops because about a minute then later on if something happened you can just take the memory and review now if you want to set the camera only for two hours or record something during a time you can set record all the time get the camera take it somewhere in the set now the camera needs network to to record no it doesn't need any network but you need to configure this first how you want the camera to record then i can take the camera turn it on and stick it right in my car and it will record whatever i want to record i can send it to i don't know some some of somewhere outside and I stick it right there and any metal piece or whatever that can this magnet stay there and it will record now if you want to get see what the camera is seeing it well you need like a wi-fi connection or you have to do a local connection the way i did it right with the camera and how far well how far the wi-fi will get i think i don't know 20 feet 30 feet maybe you can get it to get to the camera maybe but remember to record you don't need any wi-fi connection you can turn it off turn it on put it in your car put it anywhere come back later on and pull the camera and review review the video 
that if you want a camera to stay like in a standby mode and 24 out 24 7 then remember to plug in the usb cable and then you need some type of well uh, it's one power supply you can use one from cell phone if you want to stand it for recording a whole entire day maybe you can use a uh, power bank and that will give you enough power to work maybe like a few days out of the power bank right if you want to just record some particular uh, shots with this all right guys that's it with this we complete the video so to get more information and to get one of these tiny cameras uh, check the link below bye